All right, you guys show me a touch it. Balcony. Student tennis begin. Honor, courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self control, courage, community. Balcony. Junie. Uh, all right, guys, here's how it's going to work. So I'm going to use this here for our tiebreaker because the big one is a little loud, and we got another class going on on the other side. <laughs> So what we're going to do here, we put timer on for one minute. Boom, there we go. So first minute, what we're going to do is we're just going to work on a couple different warm-up exercises just to kind of get us going. So we're going to first, we're just going to work on shuffling. So keeping our arms up, looking to one side, having a good stance. We're just going to shuffle just like so. Going back and forth in whatever area you have. Just keep yourself moving and keep your hands up. All right, you guys ready? Go. Hands up and just shuffle, stay light on the toes. All right, we're going to do the same thing. Oh, see who's popping in there. Oh, it's in. Cool. All right. Keep it up, guys. We got 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Three, two, one, time. All right, next one. This one real easy. So we're just going to keep our feet together, or you can put them apart a little bit, that's okay. And we're just going to jump from side to side. Just like that for one minute. All right, you ready? Go. Jump. Side to side. Keep it up. Twenty seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Next one. All right, nice and easy. We're going to go ahead and get into our stretches. So arms forward. All right, little leaders, everyone on your bellies. Backwards. All right, you guys, what do you guys want to do? I want you to think of your favorite animal. I want you to think of your favorite animal. It could be a cat, a dog, a tiger, a lion, a bear, a snake, an alligator, a whatever. Pick your favorite animal. Now, what do you think? What sound does it make? Pick your favorite animal and then pick the sound. Oops. I don't know why that did that. <laughs> he just turned that off. Everyone ready? Everyone got their animal, got their sound? All right, here we go. Everyone on your bellies. Before we do a push, we're going to make the sound. Fixed. Now, hands on your hips. Up. And hips side to side. Good job. Everyone up. 
And circles. Up. And down. Good job, good job. Up, down. And spaghetti. Yeah, all right. Feet together, toes together, oh, rotate your knees. Maybe, buddy. I say spaghetti. I have. Up, 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 Part. All right, now take our hands. Uh, and I'm just going to reach over and hold. Take our ears to our transitional kicking. So being able to take one kick and flip it and do a different kick without putting your foot down. Okay? Now normally we start these from like a front kick position, but we're going to switch that up today. And we're going to do them from a inside crescent kick position. So it's going to be a little bit different. So what we want to do, I want you to start, I'm going to turn this way, start in your back stance like so. Take one hand, Put it out just like we're doing that downward knife hand, like from the floor. Right? Then you're going to take your 
back foot. Your back foot, and you're going to swing it, and you're going to clap it to your hand. Just like so. Now, you, your knee will bend a little bit, but this is going to shift into our next kick. Because normally when we do an inside cousin kick, our leg is straight, but in order to reach your hand, it has to bend a little. Okay. And then we're going to switch it into something else here in a minute. But what I want you to do is we're just going to go down, hand out, and and out, kick. And out, kick. And it's gonna kick your hands going down and back. Deal? All right, let's go. Back to the All right. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Just like so. All right, let's take a look how we do it. Take your hand out, swing, kick your hands. Nice, pretty easy, pretty easy. Now, uh, Dane. Dane, look here, buddy. You're gonna put your hand out. And then you want to kick yeah. on the inside like that. Very okay? Good. Awesome. All right, from here. That's yeah, perfect. Uh, leave that hand up. All right, cool. All right, everybody, stop there. All right, next step. Now we're going to switch it into something different. So I'm going to open this back up to me. So now. After we do that inside press and kick to our hand, we're going to pivot and then side kick. So this is what it looks like. Here. So we have to make sure that we turn and we pivot our foot. So I'm going to show you this way so you can see. Hand out. Kick. Chamber. Pivot. Side kick. Put it down. And then we repeat off the other side. Boom, just like that. So try that out a few times. If I can open this back up so I can watch you guys. Let me see. Inside, boom, pivot, side kick. Well, that's a good kick, Brian. Kick the hand and then side kick. Oh, keep that leg up at the air, Ian. Don't drop it. Nice, Mason. Those are pretty. All right, let's go into the three things we have to focus on. All right, so I'm gonna put it to the eye. Beautiful, Brian. Remember to retract that leg. Let me see you pull it back. Kick, pull back. Kick, pull it back, pull it back. Oh, yeah, there you go. How's Alexander doing? Oh, let me see, buddy. Kick. Kick. Oh, the same foot does both kicks, Mr. Alexander. Same foot does both kicks. Cool. All right, you guys ready for another challenge? Yes. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's right, Rand. Bring it on, baby. That's the way it works. Yes. All right, next challenge. So we're going to add onto it. So inside crest kick, side kick. Okay. Three kicks now without putting your foot down. So again, watch here. Inside crescent, side, hook. All three kicks must look different. Okay. Give it a try. I want to see both feet. Both feet. Come on, Ian. Get up, bud. So inside crescent kick, side kick, and a hook kick, all without putting your foot down. Noah, that was beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, 
Oh, come on, Mason, get that last kick in there. You can do it. Kick, kick, and then one more. Yes, you got it. Now, how's Dane doing? Let me see. Yeah. Kick inside your hand first, then here, then hook. Other hand, bud. If you're going to use your left leg, it's your right hand. Dane, can you hear me, sir? Hello, Dane. Can you hear me? Okay. If you kick with your left foot, it's going to your right hand. If you're kicking with your right foot, it goes to your left hand. Yes. Side kick and then hook kick. Hook kick, hook kick. Oh, don't put it down. <laughs> yeah. All three without putting your foot down. I see who else. Alexander is not laid down time. You can take a nap after class. <laughs> Silly goose. Man, Mason, I love the extension on your sidekicks. Those are so nice. I wish I could sidekick like that. Can I kick like you when I grow up? <laughs> All right, guys, so moving on. Switch gears. Switch gears. Now, next challenge. So now we're going to do something called a leg stretch. It's kind of like an axe kick. But we're not trying to swing down on something. We're just trying to swing it up. But it's still a straight leg technique. Okay? I'm going to show you this way. So we're going to start, and it's our back leg movement. So my back leg is just going to swing straight up, and then I want you to land in a sitting stance. Okay? So again, this is what it looks like. Swing the leg straight up and land. And then I want you to do it with the other foot. So I'm going to scoot back. So you swing this foot up, land. You want to lay it nice and low. We're going to our leg muscles today. Okay? Let's do it on my count. So everybody get up, get ready. Ian, that means you. All right, ready? First, let's start with our right foot. Back leg swinging up. Ready? One. Swing, land. Now use your left foot. Two, swing, land. Bend low, 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 low. Good. Another time, ready? Three, swing, land. I'm gonna watch that. Four, swing, land. Oh, Mason, get low, man. Get low. Get low, yes. Four, or I said four, five. Swing and land. There you go, Ian. You're doing it. <laughs> Six. Now, Alexander, it's not a kick. I want your, your leg doesn't bend at all. So we just want this to shoot, swing just straight up. Okay. Seven. Oh, Brand, that was really nice. I love how deep you get into your sitting stance. That's very cool. All right, one more. Eight. Come on, Alexander. Stand back up, buddy. I hope you guys were switching feet each time. If not, do eight on your other foot. Okay, good. Nobody's doing it. Ow, Ian, where are you switching feet? <laughs> Gotta switch feet. All right. Moving on. One more thing. So from here, guys, what we're going to do, let's open this up to me again. I keep on forgetting. So it's easier to see. So now we're going to combine both of our different techniques together. So the kick combo, and then we're going to take our back leg and swing it up. So this is what it looks like. Hand comes out. Kick, kick, here, swing, down. Awesome job. 
Uh, okay, so put both of them together. You will have to use both feet. So I'm going to show you facing this way. And out. One, two, three. Swing. Sitting stance. All right. Give it a try. Once you do it about eh, two times each foot. Go for it. Ready and go. And do you need help, bud? Yes? Okay. Stand up and I'll do it with me. Hand out. Kick. Side kick. Hook kick. Ow, other foot. Swing. Three, two, and land in a sitting stance. One, and five. All right. That's it. <laughs> nice job, Mason. Good job, buddy. Doesn't he have like some of the best kicks you've seen? I want to kick like him when I grow up. Because you guys don't know this, I'm I'm only eight years old. <laughs> eight, I'm seven. Come on. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right. So let's stop there. Now that our legs are nice and loose and feel like noodles. Now let's get into our form. Okay. So what I want to do is we're going to go through the whole thing with me going by the count. And then I want us to kind of focus on certain parts of it, okay? So I'll explain that when we get there. All right, so do it with me. Can't you see it? All right. Now, next thing, what number do you call in case of an emergency? All right, to me? That is correct. Nine, one. We want to kind of bend your knees a little bit, slightly, slightly bend your knees. Because if you straighten your legs out and you stand here too long, you know what can happen? You can pass out. We don't want that. <laughs> All right, ready with me. One, step out. Palm heel, right in the middle. Two punches. Square block. Check your feet. Are you in a back stance here? Check your arms. Do they look like a square or do they look like this? Do they look like this? What are they doing? Upset punch. And on the muscle. All right. And then make sure to fix it. Make sure that they hang up first. Not hand strike. So who hangs up first? Step through. That's correct, baby. Can you see your front toes? I can. All right, here we go. Now, next thing we're going to do, we're going to now, step forward to our chest. Low block. All right, lift the knees to just really, really high. I'm going to scoot over a little so I'm in the middle of the camera. And go. Step, punch. Hand up to the very side. Good, very good. Pull forward, ready, stand. Right now, your elbow should be back. Both right. toes should be pointed right. that direction. Side kick, keep this here. Chamber, knife hand strike. You scoot back some. Step and punch. All right, now we're going to work on our outside. Step and punch, and you go. Everyone cross it in front. Good. Right now, you should have your right leg in the front. Right hand punch it. If you don't, switch feet. And hands. All right, now we get into the turn. So my right arm goes across. Left arm around your neck. Left foot step. Turn. Double knife hand block. Good. Mr. Barron, is everyone still with me? All right. How, how high do we kick? Now, ask mommy for money. How high do we kick? 
Step through. Spear hand. Yes, everyone say sky high. All right, here we go. So ready? Next. 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 Reach. Look over your left shoulder. Now, which foot moves? Is it my left or right? All right, come the foot from your palm to this side. It should be your right leg. So move your right foot over. There Double knife hand block again. Let's do that. <laughs> All right, and last thing we're gonna do today, we're gonna work on the wrist. Out. Right, on the back leg, round kick. Right. And another I one. Mean, Land. <laughs> Double knife hand lock. Good back stance. All done with the intermediate right. form. Take my little ears to see what you do. What you're gonna do yep. is you're going to. Nice. Now, from here, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up. And since when I'm doing it, I can't see you guys, I'm going to come close and I'm going to count for you. I want to watch everybody go through it. And then we'll open it up to black belt practice time. Okay? Ian, you look like I'm boring you. Are you bored? If I hang you upside down from your ears, will that make you bored still? He's like, I don't know. <laughs> All right, June B, guys. All right, strong fingers. We don't want this. Strong fingers. Dane, June B. One. Check your feet. Knees bent, toes forward. Two, three. Two punches. Again, punches are right in the middle. I see some people that are punching like this. It's not a disco. <laughs> we need to go in the middle. Okay? That did not give you an excuse to dance, Dane. <laughs> All right. Oh, Mia, don't get ahead of me. Act like I can't see you. All right, four. Square block. I'm gonna check everybody's block real quick before we move on. Okay, five. Upset punch. Oh, not yet, Mason, we're on this one. Right there, yes. Oh, Brand, we're right here. Yes. Uh, five, four, Six. Three, two, one, now, right here, guys, your feet should still be in an L position, just a little bit wider than normal. Good, all right. Seven. Knife hand strike. Hey, Noah, tuck down your thumb. A open thumb is a broken thumb. <laughs> Trust me, I've been there, done that. Don't want that. <laughs> okay. You throw a ridge hand and your thumb is out, and you hit your thumb instead of right here. Ow. Done that. All right, eight. Oh, Mason, we're at this one, buddy. Now, step through and punch. Ian, step all the way through with your left foot, buddy. So your left foot should be in front when you step through. Yes, there you go. Now switch your hands. There you go. Good job, Ian. Nine. Good. What stance should we be in right here? Starts with an F. Front stance. Make a front stance. Ten. Step and punch. Again, another front stance. Not yet, Mia. You're getting ahead of me. <laughs> Dane, don't get ahead of me, too. All right. 11. Now, your feet should be shoulder width apart like June B. Now, real quick, I see some people, when they do this move, your hand is here. I'm looking at your elbow. I shouldn't see your elbow. I should see your arm, so pull it back like this. So you want your body to be facing sideways, you want this to be pulled back. 
12. Sidekick? Mia, not, we're not at the knife hand yet. It's just the kick. Sidekick. Now 13, knife hand. Back stance here. L feet, L feet. Now Dane's a normal knife hand, not a downward knife hand. So sideways hand, yes. 14, step and punch. 15, step and punch and yell. Oh, yeah. Kill, cool. what stance are you in? Starts with an F, front stance. Back up a little bit, Ian, so you have room. 16. Turn, double knife hand block. Ian, turn towards that uh, bookshelf there. Yes. 17, spear hand. Noah, tuck that thumb, buddy. This is one of those things I want to, you're going to, I want you to protect your thumbs. Okay, because if we get in the habit of sticking our thumbs out, if we actually hit something, e. Like I said, I've been there. Uh, Dane, it should be your right hand spear handing. And your arm, your other hand should be under your elbow. But yes. Okay. 17. Double knife hand block the other way. Keep in mind, guys, we move our right foot to turn that direction. Everybody turn the correct direction, but we want to move the right foot. All right, and I know this is weird, but per the count of the form, the next move is actually all three put together. <laughs> so 18, round kick, round kick, double knife hand, go. <laughs> now, Bran, how did you end up backwards? You're should be going the other way. Yeah, do your kicks that way. Yeah, there you go. Yes, there you go, that direction. And that's it for the intermediate form. Mason, you moved off camera, buddy. Where'd you go? I know, he disappeared. There you are. Like a ninja. All right, beautiful. So now from here, what I want to do What I want to do right now is I want you guys to do me a favor. If you can do this safely, if not, don't worry about it. But I want you to go through your form. And Anna and Mia, you may have to really separate yourselves because you, I don't want you to hurt each other. <laughs> I want you to close your eyes for a moment. I want you to close your eyes and try your form out with your eyes closed and see if it feels any different. Now, don't go really hard. I don't want you to kick something. But if you don't have the space and you can't do it safely, don't do it. All right, but if you have a little bit of space and you feel like you can do it, give it a try. All right, if moms and dads are around, let's make sure they're not knocking over any vases or such. <laughs> okay, give it a try. We'll only do this for about a minute. Remember, if you don't feel like you can do it safely, don't do it. Don't open your eyes. If you have your eyes closed, don't open your eyes. See if you can feel any difference in your techniques with your eyes closed versus having them open. All right, go ahead and stop there, guys. I'm glad nobody knocked over anything. Yay. <laughs> All right, so from here, even though we didn't have this class on Saturday, 
we had virtual classes, but they were the fused classes, and I'm not entirely sure everybody came to them. So we're going to go ahead and finish up with our, pl our plank challenge today. Today's the last day for plank challenge. <laughs> Mr. Barrett's over there clapping. <laughs> All right, so six minutes. Woo! All right, you guys ready? Because I've got my timer set. All right, on your mark, last day, last time. Last time for this, guys, finish strong. Set. Oh, it looks like Mr. Jess <laughs> is gonna do it too. Go. <laughs> Mason, I'm watching you, boy, don't you be cheating. Now remember, stay up on the toes. You can have your hands or your elbows on the floor, but no knees, no belly buttons. Oh, Dane went inside. <laughs> he was outside. Probably felt more comfortable than the concrete. Probably. <laughs> Is that Kellen over there, upside down? <laughs> Silly boy, get off your head. That's 45 seconds, guys. You look too comfortable, Ian. Get up, boy. Why did I leave my phone up there? <laughs> Keep it up, guys. Now, as you guys are going through this, we have five minutes left. Ask you some questions. I know we've gone through the definition of water on before. I'm going to ask you some few questions about it. Let's see who can get it. Four minutes, 45 seconds left. First question, by show of hands, who knows how many movements are in Warang? Who knows? Let's go. Amelia, you'll have to unmute yourself, girl. Four minutes, 30 seconds. Um, 24. So close. Not 25? quite. Not quite, not quite. Anybody else? Have a guess? Yeah, all right, let's go. Brian, you're gonna have to unmute yourself. Come on, Ian, get up. You look too comfortable again. 25? Oh, no, not quite. A little more than that. Any, anybody else have a guess? Mason? You have a guess? 29. 29, that's <laughs> correct. Good job, guys. Three minutes, 45 seconds. Next. Warong is named after the blank. Who knows what Warong is named after? Let's go. <laughs> no, not Mr. Isis. You already know. <laughs> Alexander. Correct. It was named after the Warong Youth Group. I'm not allowed to say it 30 times a day. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now, and it originated in what dynasty? Three minutes, seven seconds. What dynasty? Hmm. Anybody know? Nobody knows what dynasty? All right, Mr. S, just tell them what it is. Scylla dynasty. The Scylla dynasty. S-I-L-L-A, Silla Dynasty. And that took place in what century? Two minutes, 40 seconds. Was it the first, first, second, 28th? Mia? The 28th yes, the 28th century. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? The seventh. Seventh, that's correct, the seventh century. That was a little bit ago. Now, the 29 movements refer to what? What do the 29 movements represent? Fran? Exactly two minutes left. Fran, you're going to have to unmute yourself if you want to answer the question. Jungun? No, we already had that form. Jungun was, 
was last cycle, I think. Yeah, Wan Yo doing good, and then this one. Yeah, <laughs> that was last cycle. So, what do the 29 moves mean? Minute 38. Nobody? All right, Mr. S, just tell him. 29th Infantry Division. The 29th Infantry Division. Mason, you better not be on your knees. I see you. <laughs> I'm surprised mom didn't call you out on that one. And that's where Taekwondo developed into what? Last question. Minute 10 seconds. Mm, let's go, Mia. Maturity. Maturity. Ian, boy, better get up on your toes. Come on. Come on. 54 yeah. seconds. So that's when Taekwondo really developed into a organized martial art where it really became what we kind of see today. It has changed a little bit over the years, though. Actually, a lot of it. <laughs> All right, Mr. Barry, so I did it this class. Your turn next class. 35 seconds. You got it, sir. Oh, looks kitty cat. No, it's kitty cat's gonna do plank with us for 25 seconds. Or just rub its tail up against his nose. Give me love. <laughs> I want attention. 15 Get seconds. Up. On your belly, we have 15 seconds. Get up, Ian. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, that's it. Well, we did it. No, I say most, we did it. <laughs> we did it, we did it, we did it. Oh yeah. All right. Great job, great job, everybody. All right, I hope you guys had some fun today. I hope you learned something different because I know those kicks we were doing at the beginning of class are very different. And I'll give you guys a little clue on where I got those from. Those kicks come out of black belt forms. You guys did black belt kicks today. You guys didn't even know it. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. I will see you guys next time. It's a beautiful day outside. Go outside and do something fun. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye.